A cyber attack on one police department's computer system has cops now paying ransom. ABC's Lindsay Davis has more on a growing problem for departments all across the nation. This Massachusetts Police Department victimized by cyber criminals. Tewksbury police received a threatening message like this, demanding they pay a $500 ransom or kiss crucial data goodbye. Our information was held hostage. Critical files locked, inaccessible. The best option for us, even though it was the last and worst option for us, was to uh, pay the ransom. Cyber safety experts say these cyber terrorists are responsible for crippling more than a million computers around the world, including police departments in Illinois, Tennessee, and New Hampshire. Hackers even demanded the city of Detroit pay $800,000, but the city refused to pay. We're all vulnerable. People have stored social security numbers, driver's licenses, pictures of their family, critical information. Our computers are modern filing cabinets. ABC's Matt Gutman investigated hackers who impersonate Microsoft IT employees to gain access to personal computers. Hello? Hey, Christina, Matt. Hey. We are receiving some critical warning from your computer. Christina says after a pop-up on her computer issued a dire warning, she received a message to call Microsoft. And when she called the number, a man answered and asked to connect to her computer. She let him take control remotely and never got it back. He says, if you want everything that was there back, you know what you have to do. Microsoft tells ABC News it would never call consumers asking for money. So how can you protect yourself? Be suspicious. Don't click on links that people send you. Be careful which websites you visit. Experts say back up your files on an external hard drive as often as you can and always unplug it to keep hackers from getting in. Lindsay Davis, ABC News, New York.